Hello, my friends. My name is Jeremy. I'm going to be reading from the Bible, the Word of God. I'm going to read Numbers 14, The People Rebel. So turn up, listen up, focus. This is the Word of God. Then all the congregation raised a loud cry, and the people wept that night. And all the people of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The whole congregation said to them, Would that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would that we have died in this wilderness? Why is the Lord bringing us into this land to fall by the sword? Our wives and our little ones will become a prey. Would it not be better for us to go back to Egypt? And they said to one another, Let us choose a leader and go back to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the people of Israel. And Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of uh, Jephuniah, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes and said to all the congregation of the people of Israel, The land which we pass through to spy it out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, he will bring us into the land and gives it to us. The land that flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord and do not fear the people of the land, for they, for they are bread for us. Their protection is removed from them and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. Then all the congregation said to stone them with stones. But the glory of the Lord appeared at the tent of meeting to all the people of Israel. And the Lord said to Moses, How long will this people despise me? And how long will they not believe in me in spite of all the signs that I have done among them? I will strike them with the pestilence and disinherit them. And I will make of you a nation greater and mightier than they. Moses intercedes for the people. 14.13 But Moses said to the Lord, then the Egyptians will hear of it, for you brought up this people in your might from among them. And they will tell the inhabitants of this land, They have heard that you, O Lord, are in the midst of this people. For you, O Lord, are seen face to face, and your cloud stands over them, and you go before them. And a pillar of a cloud by day, and a pillar of fire by night. Now, if you kill this people as one man, then the nations who have heard your fame will say, is it because the Lord was not able to bring this people into the land that we, that he swore to give us to them, that he has killed them in the wilderness? And now, please let the power of the Lord be great as you have promised, saying, The Lord is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, forgiving inequity and transgressions, but he will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the inequity of the fathers of the children to the third and the fourth generation. Please pardon the inequity of this people according to the greatness of your steadfast love, just as, as you have forgiven this people from Egypt until now. God promises judgment. This will be 1420. Then the Lord said, I have pardoned according to your word, but truly as I live, and as all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, none of the men who have seen my glory, my signs that I did in Egypt and in the wilderness, and yet... <clears throat> And yet have put me to the test these ten times and have not obeyed my voice. Shall see the land that I swore to give to their fathers. And none of those who despise me shall see it. But my servant Caleb, because, of, because he has a different spirit and has followed me fully, I will bring into the land into which he went, and his descendants shall possess it. Now since the Amalekites and the Canaanites dwell in the valley, turn tomorrow and set out for the wilderness by the way to the Red Sea. And the Lord spoke to Moses and, and to Aaron, saying, How long shall this wicked congregation grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the people of Israel, which they grumble against me. Say to them, As I live, declares the Lord, What you have said in my hearing I will do to you. Your dead bodies shall fall in this wilderness, and of all your number listed in the census from twenty years old and upward who have grumbled against me. Not one shall come into the land where I swore that I would make you dwell, except Caleb the son of Jephaniah and Joshua the son of Nun. But your little ones, who you said would become a prey, I will bring in, and they shall know that the land you have rejected, but as for you, your dead body shall fall in this wilderness, and your children shall be shepherds in the wilderness forty years, and shall suffer for your faith faithlessness until the last of your dead bodies lies in the wilderness according to the number of the days in which you spied out the land 40 days a year for each day and you shall bear your inequity 40 years and you shall know my displeasure i the lord have spoken surely this i <laughs> surely this will i do to all the wicked congregation who are gathered together against me in this wilderness they shall come to to a full end and there they shall die 36 and the men 
whom Moses sent to spy out the land, who returned and made all the congregation grumble against him by bringing up a bad report about the land. The men who brought up a bad report of the land died by plague before the Lord. Of those men who went to spy out the land, only Joshua and the son of Nun and Caleb and the son of, the son of Jephaniah remained alive. Israel defeated in battle. This will be 1439. When Moses told these words to all the people of Israel, the people mourned greatly. And they rose early in the morning and went up to the heights of the hill country, saying, Here we are. We will go up to the place that the Lord has promised, for we have sinned. But Moses said, Why now are you transgressing the command of the Lord, when that we will not succeed? Do not go up, for the Lord is not among you, lest you be struck down before your enemies. For there the Amalekites and the Canaanites are facing you, and you shall fall by the sword. Because you have turned, turned back from following the Lord, the Lord will not be with you. But they presumed to go up to the heights of the hill country, although neither the ark of the covenant of the Lord nor Moses departed out of the camp. Then the Amalekites and the Canaanites who lived in the hill country came down and defeated them and pursued them even to a whole month. Hmm. Crazy. Numbers 14, the word of God. God loves you. I love you. May you always be in peace. See you.